Aluminum is everywhere. In the car that carries you, the phone in your pocket. The airplane soaring above, even the thin foil wrapping your food. It is the silent skeleton holding up modern life. But here's the haunting truth. To make this silvery miracle, we strip mountains bare, drown valleys in poison, and burn electricity on a scale so vast it could power entire nations for years. Would you still raise that soda can to your lips if you knew what it truly cost? Type yes if you would or no if you never will again. Stay with me because the journey of aluminum is not just industry. It is the story of humanity's hunger, its brilliance, and its deepest scars. Every story begins in the earth. In tropical lands, the roar of machines drowns the forest, birds vanish, and rivers turn silent. The ground is torn open, bleeding red. This is bauxite, the ore of aluminum. It looks ordinary, but every scoop tears away centuries of growth. Every truckload removes a village's future. Fertile soil vanishes, hills collapse into wounds that may never heal. And yet, from this raw, red earth come airplanes, skyscrapers, and satellites. A miracle born in destruction. So tell me, is aluminum progress worth celebrating? Or plunder that future generations will curse? Comment, miracle or wound? again The ore is crushed fine, boiled in caustic soda, and cooked under monstrous pressure. What emerges is a cruel duality. Endless lakes of toxic red mud, I'm thick, burning, response. corrosive, and on the other side, what is going pure on? white alumina powder, power now. fine as flour, dazzling under the light. This contrast is shocking. Poison and purity, born in the same breath. The alumina is the seed of silver metal, while the red mud seeps into rivers and scars the land for centuries. Is this purification or contamination cleverly disguised as progress? Make sure that there's no impurities in there. Now, electricity itself is chained into metal. In vast echoing halls, longer than football fields, giant electrolytic cells 
roar day and night. They consume more power than entire cities, glowing with blue and orange fire. Carbon anodes plunge into molten cryolite. Sparks lash like lightning in chains, and drop by drop, molten aluminum forms at the bottom, glowing like liquid moonlight drawn from fire. But this stage is perilous. A single drop of water in the bath can explode with the force of dynamite, ripping steel apart and killing without warning. Would you dare stand beside this cauldron of thunder, knowing that one mistake could mean instant death? Type never if you would turn away. The Silver River is siphoned into molds. Steam erupts like storms, floors shudder. The hiss of fire and water colliding fills the air. Slowly, massive ingots rise from the chaos. Heavier than cars, yet gleaming like captured light. Smooth as glass, yet born in violence. They gleam like captured moonlight hardened into stone. But behind every ingot, stands a mountain stripped to the bone, and power plants burning endlessly to keep this miracle alive. Beauty, but beauty bought with destruction. The ingots are reheated until they glow red again, then squeezed, hammered, and rolled thinner than paper pressed, pressed into beams longer than trains. Colossal rollers thunder the as the blocks stretch and bend. Sparks and steam erupt with every pass and the sound is like civilization being forged in real time. From brutal blocks emerge delicate sheets, soda cans, airplane wings, and skyscraper beams. Every clang, every hiss is transformation, but also dependency. The more we shape aluminum, the more it shapes us, binding our future in silver chains. Amazing, isn't it? Truly magnificent. Look around and you will see it everywhere. Aluminum keeps food fresh, makes cars faster, lifts towers into the sky, and gives airplanes the strength to cross oceans. Without it, rockets would not pierce space satellites would never orbit, and much of modern life would simply fall apart. 
from red earth to silver wings, aluminum has lifted humanity higher than ever before. But imagine, if tomorrow it disappeared, how much of our world would collapse in silence? But every miracle casts a shadow. For every ton of aluminum, two tons of red mud remain. Stored in vast ponds, they seep into rivers, choking ecosystems. Power plants run endlessly to feed the smelters. Aluminum alone devours more than 4% of the world's electricity. Villages are displaced, landscapes carved into scars, skies blackened with smoke. Aluminum gave us wings, but left wounds deep in the earth, wounds we may never heal. So I ask you now, is it our future or our curse? Comment your answer, future metal or poison metal. From red soil to silver ingot, aluminum is a paradox. Miracle and monster, savior and destroyer. It gave us wings, yet chained us to a hunger that consumes the planet. If you've made it this far, type forged in silver fire in the comments, so I know you are one of the few who stayed to the end. Subscribe to 36 Global Process because the machines that shape our world and our fate are still being built right now. And next, we reveal the untold story of another silent force of civilization, glass, the transparent stone that changed everything. <laughs>